So, what is quality in television? Uh, before I go into my topic about quality, uh, popularity and impact in audiovisual media, I would like to have some fun with you, if you don't mind. Uh, you see, television talks to our emotions. So if you want to learn about facts and details, then the spoken word is better. But uh, what we see in television is m stronger than what we hear. So to make an example of this, um, I would like to, to make an experiment uh, with you, if you don't mind. So if you want to play with me, you just put out your hands like this. And when I say now, you put the hands together, okay? So I count to three. One, two, three. Now. <laughs> so, oh, I think all of you put your hands together at three. And now when I said now. So you, you, you don't listen to what I say, but you do as I do, right? Um, being boring really is a death sin in audiovisual media. Because it, then you lose your audience, and then what's the point of showing anything at all on the screen if you don't have anybody watching? So um, that leads me into the topic, what is quality in television? Uh, it is really a matter of perspective. Um, screenwriter, I, I could talk about television, but actually we could expand it to uh, audiovisual media or film. Screenwriter Bob Foss said, said once in a screenwriting course that uh, a story of a film should entertain somebody who is drunk, uh, but it should also answer with wisdom for the ones that uh, seeks the mysteries of life. So how do we judge what is good and what is bad? And that would be a matter of perspective. Uh, I guess as a viewer, I just feel it if I like it or not. Uh, a commercial network would want as many viewers as possible to be able to maximize the profit from selling commercials. So for them, I guess popularity would be an aspect of quality. Uh, for a public service network, they would also like to have as many viewers as possible, but the difference there would be that it would be within the segment uh, of um, uh, minorities, because they also serve minorities, so they would like to have as many viewers as possible within that segment. Let's say they have a program on classical music, so then it would be as many viewers as possible within the segment of classical music. As a researcher, I have found these criteria to be uh, aspects of quality in audiovisual media. You see originality to the left. Many people that would argue that would be uh, an aspect of quality. Again, it's a matter of perspective because uh, in the 1930s, there was a lack of film manuscripts in Finland. Uh, film movies were really popular and there were just not enough stories to be told. So the producers bought scripts from the neighboring countries, translated them into Finnish and, and produced them as movies. And now you may ask, is this quality? Well, for the producer it, it is, because these films had already proven to be successful in other countries. But as a piece of art, it would not be considered quality because it is not original anymore. And then we have other criteria like identification. Identification is something that we can relate to. It is something ordinary, it could be even mundane. Uh, we know what it is. On the contrary, there is fascination. Uh, that could be something spectacular. Uh, something that rises above the ordinary. Uh, it is, uh, could also be something that profounds our knowledge, gives us a feeling of aha. And then there is impact. Impact is something that stays with the viewer longer than the passing moment. And it may also change the worldview a little bit. A couple of years ago, I um, traveled in South America and I met with this math teacher. Her name is Jenny. 
and we were discussing media in Bolivia. She said she used to go home during lunch break, make lunch for herself, put on the news. And the news channels, they uh, reached a wide audience. And they were also um, showing the most violent crimes and accidents. And Jenny felt that, that they was, uh, were seeking sensationalism many times. Sometimes they would show victims of crimes or accidents even before the familiars knew something had happened. And that made her feel sick. So she couldn't watch the news anymore. To her, quality would be something, uh, something positive that has a positive effect on your life. Uh, something constructive that adds to your life. Out of those aspects, there arises a pattern that leads towards popularity and impact. So if you see the guy to the left, the viewer experiences both identification and fascination, and that leads to touching the emotions. Uh, already the, in the ancient classical Greek times, Aristotle recognized this. But one without the other will be boring. If it, because if it is only identification, then uh, it's nothing interesting about it. <laughs> uh, if we just can relate, it's the ordinary, right? And if it's only fascination and we cannot relate to it, then it's not interesting either. And that sometimes happens with experimental jazz or modern art that um, for some people it's heaven, but other people find it totally uninteresting. Uh, then if many people's emotions are touched, that leads to popularity. And if it changes the worldview for somebody or uh, uh, or, pass, or stays longer than the passing moment, then that leads to impact. And if it has an impact on many people, that changes the society, like the Me Too movement, for instance. Something that made a great impact on me was a movie that I saw when I was 14, 15 years old. Uh, it was the movie Missing with Sissy Spacek and Jack Lemmon. Uh, about the coup in Chile in 1973. It was made by the Greek uh, director Costa Gavras, who has made many movies with political themes. What that movie did was it opened my eyes to world politics, but it also touched my heart. And I think I, my thoughts were in the movie a week afterwards. So, <coughs> What else, it, what it did, the movie, was it, it made me want to make movies like that or to be able to tell stories that would have an impact on people's lives. <coughs> and it also made me, had an influence on how I chose my career and beca became a content maker of audiovisual media. So one can say that the movie had an impact, at least on me, maybe on society as well. Within the field of creativity, there is creativity with small c and creativity with a big C. And that measures the impact of creativity. And uh, if it touches, if it has an impact on an individual, it would be creativity with a small c. And if it has uh, an impact on society, it would be creativity with a big C. Like if we think about the computer. So the conclusion is that popularity may or may not be quality of television, but together with impact, it can change the society. However, the question is, what is quality for you? Thank you.